I'm trying real hard to play Fire Emblem Sacred Stones for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. But it's in Japanese! Hello there! Welcome back to another exciting episode of Infantry Only. God, I did it twice in a row! Shit! <clears throat> Welcome back to an exciting episode of Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, but in Japanese. And this episode, it's time to take on Mr. Zombie Fucker Orson. Now, what this means first, though, is we have to promote our Darkened Boy. And we're going Summoner. Because this is a really cool class. And it's actually... You're able... The Cantor class was in Gaiden. But this is the first time you can actually summon things in the series, I believe. And with all the speed level ups, Noel's speed is higher than his magic. What in the hell? And the main claim to fame for the Summoner class is I'm going to show you in a moment what that claim to fame is. Now, let's just... Let's have that led by Garcia. Mm-hmm. And then... We'll do that. Yep, that sounds good to me. Or is it... Uh, you have a door key. Yeah. Yep. Let's just save and get started. We have our promotion. Now the player phase has started. I don't have Erica here. Whoops. Um, and what the summoner class gets to do is just... I believe that's the button. Yep. And Noel will just... Yep. He will make a little phantom. The phantoms all have one HP and no defenses. And their other stats vary. I believe the phantoms get better as you level up. And you'll see how well they can do against a regular soldier. That's pretty pretty good. The main thing that they are really good for is bait. So if there's ever a moment where you want your like something to be like an enemy to be drawn to an area, put a phantom in their attack range. They'll fall for it every time. Phantoms are also considered flying enemies for whatever goddamn reason. Now, yeah, this is, um, I gave Mulder silence mainly because that guy has Berserk and I want to try to have a creative and fun way to deal with Berserk. Now, those guys can all go up there. It's largely magic-based, so they'll be fine. Um, and now down, time for down here. And you might be looking at yourself, Steven, is Garcia able to move seven movement spaces? Did you give a armor unit the boots? That's a pitfall. To which I respond, shut your goddamn mouth. When you choke on my dick, is that a pitfall? I don't think so. We're giving it to Gilliam because he's a good fucking boy, and he deserves it. And that was the end of that spiel. And our friends should... Yup! He's not gonna miss this. We're gonna start this chapter off with good vibes. Good vibes only. And, um... Joshua will move up. Arter. Let's do some rescue training for Arter. Yep, we'll just... Mm-hmm. And then Cormag will ride up. Drop Arter, and then just move up. Yep, enemy phase has begun. And, oh shit. Well, Cormag's not really in danger of getting hurt, but really should have not had him with a steel sword there. Yep, and what the hell is this guy going to do? Hurt me a little bit. Oh, shit, that's not... That's not very cool of you. But, it's fine. It's motherfucking nice. It's motherfucking Gilliam. Yep. Rest in peace, Phantom. Oh. So that guy's moving down. Yep. Nothing nothing too scary at the start here. Let's, um... Yeah, Molda can deal with this guy. And hopefully he won't be too hurt. Yep. He ain't even gonna be hurt over it. Good job, Molder. Always believed in you. Always. Even when I didn't, I still did. And Garcia's gonna just have a repeat of what he just did. 
He's gonna walk up, and he's just gonna instantly fuck over this soldier. Now, Garcia has an S rank in Axis now, so he has a 5% crit boost. I don't know if that will ever be uh, important, but maybe. Like, I believe. Yep. And that's another cool thing about the hero class. It, um... The hero class gets a C rank in swords instantaneously. Which is pretty cool. Now, anyways, as for down here... Yeah, he only needs to hit one of these. Come on, friends, you got this. Please. Yeah! Woo! Alright. And we are now going to continue to lead our vanguard up. Um... Cormac can probably, if he has the proper lance equipped... I don't want to use Tana again. Tana's, like, way stronger than she needs to be. Joshua! Um... Joshua can weaken him to where Cormac can kill him. So we'll do that. Get the fuck up out of here. Oh, no level up for Josh uh, Joshua. Oh well. And then Cormac can... Yep, this should be a kill. Please don't miss. Yep. Wow, they are really... Even with weapon triangle advantage, all it takes is being in the forest. And Cormac's skill isn't... That terrible. Hmm. Though his speed is starting to lag behind a bit. Eh, it's probably fine. Alright. We will move him up. Seth will attempt to bring Arter forward. Yep. And then Tana. Oh, he could have gone all the way. Whoops. There we go. Enemy phase time. That one shaman's on a mission. Yeah, the way to go, bud. Um, let's just keep moving up. Equip the hand axe. And uh, keep him, stay back a little bit so that Arter can reach you and heal you. Just in case. Though with nine uses left on his mend staff, I probably should be a bit more um liberal about what I do. I also increased his con with the uh, body ring. He is no longer weighed down by Shine, which will likely be his main method of attack. And beyond that, everyone else is just gonna keep going. Actually, wait, I think I just... I actually think that's, um... I think I just put Ephraim farther back than if I just walked with him. Ah. Well, anyways, no big deal. Not the dumbest thing I'll do today, I'm sure. Now, this guy. Mainly do this so that I can get... Ooh, that phantom lives. And here's the other thing about phantoms. They only get, um... What's the term I'm looking for here? Oh, that's not gonna work. At all. You're not, I'm not gonna be able to silence this guy at all. But fuck it, we're gonna try. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! Interesting. Well then. I will be damned. Good fucking job, Mulder. I always believed in you. Always did. Alright, now Noel sadly can no longer uh, summon because you only have one summon out on the field at a time. I did just realize that if, um... If the Phantom actually kills that armor knight um those four are stuck because that knight has the door key and i have no way to access the convoy with that group huh wait a minute i'm gonna catch myself and he's probably gonna die here wow all right and then that one shaman is he's getting there he is making his way down um you can just kill him. And I love how cool the uh, summoner looks, too. It's like everything about the summoner class. It's such a cool class. Got the door key. Uh, the phantom will move right there. Um, Actually, Garcia's level 3. You're level 4. So Garcia wants this a bit more. So we'll see how this goes. Alright. 
Luna's coming at me with an actual decent magic stat, but not good enough. Got him. Dead. And Garcia's going to get a level up of only health and strength. Come on, give it to me. Strength and defense. Okay. Little bit different. And when he got a chest key. Hmm. Uh, I can probably drop the Dragon Axe. And then... Pff, just because I... This is what I give a fucking Phantom Barrier. This sounds funny to me. Uh, can you guys still damage him? You can, but I wonder if I was playing on English Easy Mode, if they'd even be able to damage him. That's That'd be hilarious. Um, Ephraim, let's try to get you one more level up before you uh, promote at the end of this chapter. And he's going to get hurt. Not a big deal. Mm hmm. Hey, okay. Good job, Ephraim. Yeah, oh, yeah. We can definitely get Ephraim some more level ups by the end of this. Um, light magic is a little spooky. Just a little bit, though. But we should be fine. We should be pretty fine. Mm-hmm. Move you on up. Move you on up. Uh, and then we'll have Joshua come in and kill this mage. Yep. With exact damage. Uh, we can buy killer weapons next chapter. And then Joshua will get a huge um, equipment upgrade. But a level up. What do we got? I mean... We are an assassin. That skill is valuable. And then this health onto Seth will be similarly valuable. All right, there we go. Good job, Mulder. Or Mulder, good lord, Arter. How's your staff weapon right coming along? Almost to C. All right, all right. And then Franz coming up from behind. And now it's time for the enemy phase. I'm not particularly afraid of those fighters. The shamans are coming down. Oh, oh, that's right. Tana used to have a... Tana's growths aren't terrible for resistance. My brain went, oh, she's a dragon unit. That means resistance equals bad. It, no, she's... She has the growths of a Pegasus Knight. So that's fine. All right. And, yep. The shaman has some friends now. Oh, hey, you guys came earlier than I remembered. I thought you guys took a while to show up. Eh, oh well. Yep. Door. And Mulder will just eliminate this guy from existence. Got him. Cool. Do, 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 do. He gets a door key, but does he really, like, need it? I mean, I guess we'll get rid of, um... Silence. Put that back to the uh, convoy. I don't think he... Uh, I don't think he's really able to get through here. Though I do want to make sure I kill that guy soon. Now, beyond that, we're down here. Um, Ephraim and Joshua will not be able to make it over there. But Franz should... Yeah, Franz can definitely take care of this monk here. Go on, what are you going to do? Seven damage to me? Yeah, no, you're not. Eat shit. You see, if you had 69% hit rate, you'd have the sex number, and that would hit me. But only 68? Not good enough. Now, beyond this... Um... Garcia! Or Garcia, Gilliam. Why am I getting every single name wrong in everything? Yeah, that's going to do that. Dodged. And bam, you're dead. Now, how close is Gillian to a level? Eh. Mm -hmm. He's like a round one. Kinda. Alright, what do you guys have equipped? Iron Lance, Iron Lance. Oh god, I'm quivering in my boots, I assure you. Um. Let's cap off Arter's light weapon rank, because this should put it up to S. And then he'll start having 17 crit on enemies. That's really cool. Right? Yeah, there we go. You can now use Evaldi, which is not not for a while yet. Cormag, you don't have an S rank in lances yet, so let's um let's start getting you there. Woo! 
And there's Cormag getting some experience. Uh, though he did level up already this chapter, so unlikely that he, um... Yeah. Let's... Tana moved all the way up is very unlikely to die. I might be getting incredibly overconfident, and that is something that I fear, but it's something that I feel won't happen. Thanks to Denial, I'm immortal. Though I did completely forget about those guys. But they're far enough back that I can very comfortably deal with them. Yeah, and besides, only one Shaman can hit Tana. And he's going after Garcia, who has an axe that he can counterattack with, and not the Phantom? Can he not reach the Phantom? I was pretty sure he could reach the Phantom. Oh, that guy to the left definitely can. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, Phantom. He'll live on in my heart. All right, now what are your odds to hit? Oh. I I knew their odds to hit would be low, but I didn't expect their odds to hit would be no. All right. And there's some there's the cavalry. Oh, oh god, that guy is Mm. Got to admit, not a fan of him. Let's uh what do you have? How many more turns? Two turns? Alright, so I have to kill you next turn. That's how that has to go. And just to be sure, you just have Physic. Yeah, Physic, Physic, Eclipse, but none that can't kill me. Yeah, okay, you don't have, like, Bolting or anything. You guys might. No, you just have Flux, Flux, and Flux. Okay. Um... Just to be safe... Let's get you in there so that Garcia has a better, um, out to kill you. Yeah, with two spaces forward, you are, um, yeah, you're able to kill. You're able to walk down and kill that, um, priest before he gets Bradonk off. And we don't want any of that happening. And next up, um, we can start getting Noel's staff rank up a little bit. It's it's helpful. I like how the I just love the flowy robes. They just look com they look comfy. It's like a fucking medieval snuggie. That's what the summoner robes are. A medieval snuggie. Anyways, yeah. Let's just start pressing forward with all we've got. Yep. And Franz is in very little danger here. This have to, our real danger is waiting for the slow dark magic animation. Dark magic all looks cool as shit, but a common trend for dark magic is it takes a little while to happen. Um, Ardor will also move up and just... And I guess he might as well increase his anima weapon rank. I don't know if I'll ever be having him with Fimbiltiver, whatever the fuck you pronounce the um, ice magic as, but I... I guess being able to cast Bolting is kind of cool. Maybe. Alright. Um. We will have Garcia right here. Or Garcia. Gilliam! Why am I fucking that up so consistently? Yeah, and then Cormag can just one shot. You don't have to worry about your low magical resistance if you just kill every mage in one hit. Big brain plants. Now, Seth and uh, Tana. Yeah, Tana will just loop de loop around and just be honored, soldier. You were killed by the same lance that killed your king. Die with pride, young man. Um, as for you, you're just going to die to Seth. You don't get honor. Um, Iron Sword. Does Seth have his S rank yet? Lances. It ended up being in lances. Okay. Iron Sword. Yep. This guy's... Just, God, I just love the dark... Enemy Dark Mage sprite. It looks so cool. Red and black and gold. Objectively cool color scheme. Shadow the Hedgehog invented the cool color palette back on the Sega Dreamcast, and everyone's been trying to rip him off since. Alright. Here comes Gilliam, who I will now correctly say the name of. And then Ephraim and Joshua will move up. Alright, enemy phase time. Yeah, that Great Knight sure is, um... Getting there. 
Slowly but surely. Alright. Now, now starts an eclipse barrage, I think. But... Wait. What did... What are you trying to do, bud? What? Where are you going? Alright. Right, does this great knight have anything I'm afraid of? A red gem I could have stolen, but I don't have my thief with me. Whoops. Alright. Gilliam's just gonna... Yeah. Get the fuck up out of here. Mmm. <sighs> delicious. And some XP for Gilliam. Um, let's put Cormag right next to him, because Cormag will definitely have the defense to survive some damage. Alright, next up, I guess it's just summon a phantom, and then have the phantom move. He will tank all of the Eclipse, the whole thing. Alright, now Garcia. Um... You don't have any reason to use axes right now. So just sort it up. God, is there anything more sad than a priest who's silenced and just standing in front of a pre-promoted... Well, not pre-promoted, but a promoted fighter? It's just... It makes you feel... Feel sad, you know? Poor guy. He probably had dreams and aspirations. Alright. So, if I put Seth at this tile, or Tana... Who still technically could use the XP more than Seth. Though... Mm, she has quickly become the most valued player in my run. Which really makes me feel good. After Vanessa... Just let me down. Tana. Tana's got my back. And now we'll also put Franz... And Seth up there with her. And then Ephraim is just going to be behind. Enemy phase... I would like to see you attempt to do damage to her. Good effort, but not even close to good enough. Woo! And then, boom, dead. The other knight's walking over. Yet. Yeah. What are you what are you going to do? What was your plan, bud? Did you have one? Did you even think? Can you even think? Oh, fuck. He took one damage. Runs over. We're fucked. Man, Cormag and Garcia are gonna clear all those guys out, but they're not gonna do it very quickly, are they? Oh, well. Speaking of not very quickly, all this cavalry. Okay. Come on, fellas. You can do it. A little faster, please. Do I have... Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. You all suck. Oh god, that actually has a decent chance to hit Noel. What the fuck? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so I might have bit off a bit more than I could chew. I might have bit off a lot more than I could chew. Okay, we're fine, though. I think. Oh dear. I might have committed a minor fucky wucky. Oh, yo, what are these? Uh, what do you have? Okay, divine sword, sword, sword. Why do none of the rangers have bows? Alright, and what do you have? Oh, sleep and. Mmm, mm, wait a minute. That's not. That's not very cool at all. Okay. So what we do is we move back. Everyone runs the fuck away. That is how we handle this. Uh, yep, mm-hmm. Arter will move back and heal Seth, I think, who needs it? Yes. Uh-huh. Give him health. Mm-hmm. This is, this is fine. Alright, Joshua can... Well, there's probably some vulnerabilities in the supply that uh, you can take and then we can use. Yes. Use it. And then Joshua. No, you can just trade. 
and then use it. Mm-hmm. And now Franz can get the fuck up out of there. Uh, the Phantom can valiantly fight on the front lines. You probably actually do damage to this druid. Oh. Oof. Alright. I just have to make sure that they don't want to go um left. I have to avoid them wanting to go left at all costs. Because Garcia, Nolan, Mulder are not capable of fending off two swords masters and highly accurate druids. Oh god, wait a minute. Mulder has my restore staff though, and he has to Oh god. Oh god. Okay, 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 wait, how do I mm. Staff Staff mend because no will need the healing. Oh shit. Oh god, okay. That's not That's not good. I oh, know we don't want to put him right there. Let's just summon him again. And then have him move down where he can get hit by something. Meanwhile, Gilliam and Cormag are gonna continue just wreaking havoc right there. Oh god, this at first appeared very simple. I should have known better. But Gilliam's still gonna be beautiful, right? Oh well. Okay, I mean, it happens. And Cormag, boom, dead. Nice. And I believe that is all I'm doing right now. Okay. Alright, so the fighter... Oh, shit. I bet... <laughs> but you were feeling proud of yourself, weren't you, bud? Okay. Mm-hmm, and then Gilliam's gonna... Uh, wonderful great shield there, bud. Absolutely, um... Absolutely nailed it. Good job, Gilliam. Okay. Now, the great knight that I wasn't afraid of... Okay. The Swords Masters were one of the things I was afraid of. Alright. They're all coming up. Some of my dudes are going to get put to sleep, which is bad. That's really bad. Ah, shit. Well, if Garcia can kill this guy, that'd be sweet. Damn it. Okay. Whoo! Okay. Use the brain cells. We have to see what the druids do first. I wonder if he's actually going to get hit again by Eclipse. Yeah. Ooh, look at that dodge animation. Looks so cool. Alright, now he's going to get targeted by the other one. And he's going to dodge it again. Nice. Good job. Now it's time for the fucking... Oh, wow. All three of them can hit him. Stop that. Stop it with the actually accurate Eclipse staves. I don't know if... Noel's not that sl It's his luck. It's his luck stat. That's what's doing it. Alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is with that hit rate? Yo, buddy. What the fuck is with that hit rate? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. This is definitely the opposite of good. And the other one's gonna hit Ephraim. Or Tana? Oh god, if Tana goes to sleep. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck! Okay, okay. Um, like, we have to... Alright. Alright. I don't like that I'm continuously baiting this guy up, but it's, it's what I have to do to get him the fuck away. Alright. You go down there. Garcia can... Oh, fuck. You had a... Oh, God. Did I just do this to myself? For some reason, I thought you had a lance, even though I just saw you use a sword. Okay. That's... That's fine. Mm-hmm. Staff, mend, heal up Garcia with the healing orb. Hmm, how do... How do I go about this without dying? Goddamn. Alright. 
I, I have to heal Joshua. I don't think I can get away with not doing that. Uh, but the other problem is now immediately these druids. Well, Seth can... Can't even double them. What? Oh, God, he can't. France? Yeah, France can, but... He's going to be way too close to death if he does that. And Ephraim... Yeah, he's definitely going to be dead if he does. Oh, God, I would have to... I mean, you're going to die if you do it. No, you can't even double them. That's right, because of your speed. And Gilliam? Fuck. Okay, and let me guess. If Arter goes... Like, he has a chance, but I have to heal fucking... All right. All right, hang on. Let me... Let me think. Doing that will weaken him and... I don't... If I do that, he'll get weakened. And then I can cover up the spot that Ephraim could be hit from. Very easily. Alright, now that that guy's been weakened... I have Seth move up. With the Dragon Lance? Yes, and then Seth will kill him. Alright. And then... We'll get some XP. We'll get a level. Seth's level will be speed, so we can start doubling them. Yes, yes. Who this is. Mm. Alright. Gilliam and Cormag will finish off the problems here. And then, um... Then they'll be able to join that fight up there. Okay... That wasn't very cool of you. Oh, God, this would have been solved if I just had a restore staff with Ardor. Alright, now Ardor will staff mend uh, Jafar. Jafar! Goddamn! Joshua! I do not know names. And the problem is Ephraim who and I guess I'll do this. Alright. Gotta admit, not feeling confident about this turn. At all, really. Alright. This should be fine, though. Yeah, that's fine. That part was fine. Alright, now the warrior is gonna move. And he's gonna go up to Cormag like I thought. But Cormag should be able to double him. Yeah, he's not gonna be... Okay, okay. Problem is, those fucking... Sages are going to put everyone to sleep. Alright. Okay, yeah, that guy shouldn't double you. Yeah, okay. And then Seth's going to get a... Might not even get a... Oh, God. Is Franz going to die to a druid? He... He might. I don't think he will. Oh, God. This is... This is agony. This is... This is genuine agony. Alright. This should be fine. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So Ardor's gonna be able to kill some of these Cavaliers. Oh, God. Okay. Things are... Things are going. Things are definitely going. And they're still going to try and hit Noel. Can you stop doing that, please? Yeah, okay. Okay, good, good. Alright, now the next one's gonna go after Noel. Should still be fine. Right. Yes, okay. So far, so good. Now, this is what I'm scared of. 25, okay. He's gonna live by hardly anything. Oh, God. But he is gonna be able to hit that guy. He only had to hit him once. Hitting him once means that he can now die to, a, to most things. Oh god. 
Oh god. Okay. Alright, this isn't good. Oh god. How's Joshua gonna... Mm. And then, who are they gonna put to sleep? Because that's the... France. Yep. And if the other one puts Seth to sleep, I'm, I'm pretty much fucked. I, I... This is easily solved. I can... Yep. Oh, Seth can dodge. Please, Seth. Dodge the 66. Dodge the 66. Dodge the 66. Ah, fuck. Um... Ah... Uh, Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Well, I can kill this guy. Oh, did I just equip him with Nosferatu? I meant to equip him with Flux. I mean, it, it didn't matter. But, I mean, here we are. Okay. Molder, can I... T barrier. Why not? Well, we'll see how this goes. Ah, uh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Please don't miss. I think it's now actually impossible to, to heal. Yeah. It is 100% impossible to get there now, because this wall of sleep... Unless they all go after Noel and he somehow kills them. But this... This has made everything virtually undoable. That's not going to stop me from trying, but... I... Yep. Okay. Yeah, we got a hero's crest. That's, uh... That's kind of cool. I guess. <sighs> oh, hey, Ephraim's about to level up. And then we'll just heal up Ephraim. That enemy phase. Oh, that's it. I should probably start proofreading my will. So it took me one other failed attempt to realize that the sages don't spawn in naturally. They're on a timer. So, not a timer, like I have to cross a certain point of the map to get them to show up. So, all I have to do is once that point of the map is crossed, I just make sure that I'm ready for them. So France is going to move right there. Um, Ardor is just barely going to be able to not um, uh, <clears throat> get there to heal Tana, which I should have done. I forgot to do. I'm bad, we know. And then Ardor is going to trade over just a quick vulnerary. Just to let you know that in the heat of it, I am still stupid. And then Tana will get the Vulnerary. There are no archers that are threatening her. And then she'll just move right here. Equip her Iron Lance and use the Vulnerary. And from right there... Though truth be told, I could probably move her right here. And then the Swords Masters will just come to her to do nothing productive. And we'll be good. The problem are those goddamn druids. Alright. Well, Fran's getting hit's kind of a problem, but it's fine because he didn't get hit. Now, this is a kid. It's kind of dumb that those guys just show up with sleep staves. That's not really fair. Eh. That's kind of dumb. But, Tana's gonna get pierced and kill this guy. Uh, well, worth an effort. Not even a crit. Come on, Tana. Alright. So, now come the Swordmasters. Well, the Mercenary is going to come up, but I can... 
I can get enough social distancing from them that they won't be too much of a problem. This is what I'm a little spooked of. Okay, she got hit. But... Yeah, she can... Tana... <laughs> Tana alone is our savior. Tana can pretty much reduce any of them to mincemeat. Unfortunately, that Swordsmaster no longer can reach her. So, here come the cavalry. Um, they're gonna go after Noel still. That has not changed. And the fact that he dodges them has not changed. With a slick dodge animation. Mm. And now both of them are going after this guy. And, yeah, Noel's fine. Will the third one also go after Noel? No, he's going after Tana. Which is an even dumber idea, you buffoon. Dodged. Hell yeah. Alright. So. And now the druids are coming, which I've learned are the true scourge. My Jesus Christ, that damage output. Oh, thank God. Go fuck him up, Franz! Okay, now, Mr. Physics Guy, please don't heal the... Mm. This is a little threatening. Oh, goodbye, Phantom. You fought long and hard. You're healing the knight! Yeah. The knight! G good! No, good job! Good job! You figured it out! That knight... Whoo, man! I was terrified! Oh, stop that. Okay. Alright. This is completely fine. This is manageable. The sleep guys are going to come in now. But at this point, I'm at a position where I can just... I can deal with this shit. Mm-hmm. Joshua can just... <clears throat> get the kill. Good job, good job. Alright. Gathered a nice amount of XP to boot. Um... Ephraim, how well can you... Yeah, not, not after that healing. Um, Gilliam, my boy. Holy shit, you can... Yeah, okay. Gilliam's got this. Right? Good, his skill's good. Gilliam's skill is good. He won't... A great shield would have been nice. But, you know what? I'll take what I can get. Good, 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 good. Okay. Mm-hmm. A level up for Gilly boy. And a pretty fucking good one, too. 16 speed on Gil... He's almost faster than his defense. What the fuck? Am I raising Gilliam or Amelia? <clears throat> Anyways. Um, Tana should... Oh, she can just kill the Swordsmaster outright. Oh, that's good. Dodge. Good. Alright, there we go. This took two fuck-ups to get this down. The second time I ran, I had the idea to run in guns blazing, but I didn't commit to it enough. So I ended up just, like, dying. And it wasn't, wasn't very uh, cash money of me to do, let me tell you. Now, Franz... Mm, can he with the steel sword? He can. Okay, do this, Franz. Do it for me, baby. Don't miss. Please, for the love of all that is holy, don't miss. Yeah, okay. Whew. Alright. Now, nice. Okay. Now, beyond that... Um... I mean, I can't... I can't ignore the, um... I can't ignore the, the Swordsmaster. Words just sometimes fail me miserably. I also can't ignore this. So, Garcia... You can wait right there, and you'll basically wall out that entire everything. Alright. Noel will summon. And the summon will probably eat a staff usage of something. I don't know what, but it'll, it'll eat it. Okay. Now, between these four, I need to kill these three. Pretty sure I can handle that. Cormag, how much do I trust your accuracy? I trust that enough. Alright, Swords Masters, dead. Good job, guys. 
Now Ephraim and Seth can team up on the knights. Yep. Or hang on. Let's just actually get outright get rid of um or at least try to just outright get rid cuz yeah, I'll do that. Um Arter can definitely Yeah, cuz Arter can't reach any of the units I need to heal right yet. And anyways, the um those sages, I've realized this. They prioritize putting you to sleep rather than killing you, which I mean, I don't know, that doesn't doesn't sound like the smartest of priorities. But I am not a man who's going to judge sages on letting me live. So Seth's got this guy dead to rights. Because thank God for Eclipse Tomes being heavy as shit. And he's going to get a level up to 9? He could use some speed to start doubling things consistently. Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. And then Ephraim can uh, very easily just take care of this, right? Ephraim's got this. Dodge and kill. Yes. Okay. And a level up to boot. Alright, Ephraim, what do you got for us, baby? Strength and speed? Okay, that's that's fine. Alright, enemy phase. Okay. I was worried for a minute that I overestimated how effectively Garcia could handle this. But nah, he's he's fine. He does have this. Uh-huh. Yep. Come on, buddy. You ain't shit. God, Hero Garcia. I'm so ha Like, General Gilliam, Hero Garcia. I'm just really happy that all the things that I wanted to um, pan out have been panning out. Like, that really does make me happy that the boys I want to succeed are succeeding. Um, I don't remember what I lose from that chest over there. Yeah. They're going to go after the fucking... Yeah, I wonder if you're going to try to put him to sleep, too, Mr. Um, Sage. Let's see. Yeah! They're actually trying to put him to sleep. And they did. The other one is Franz, but that's... That's not a problem. <laughs> like, you see what I mean about the power of Phantoms? They're just so good at what they do. Alright. Now, here's the next step. Cormag. Um. Oh, that crit chance is very uncomfortable. I am not okay with that crit chance. And Gilliam, I literally can't with you, because you're, um... Well, this crit chance I'm a little more comfortable with. Sure. This should be fine. Alright. Please, for the love of God. Okay. Okay, Gilliam is almost dead, but remember, almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Gilliam's got it. And Cormag is not where I want him to be. But, hang on. Hang on a minute here. Let's... How bad is it, really? If we, um... It's a 14%. Do I have something more accurate than... I have the Zambato. Alright, this is practically a guaranteed kill. I just cannot... Okay. Alright. Got him. Okay. That's good. Good things are happening. Um, Joshua can move towards there to get the, get the uh, chests. And as for down here... Garcia can... He'll, I'll give Garcia this kill. I probably should have given it to Noel in hindsight, but... Fuck. Alright, there we go. Garcia. Got it. No, almost nice. Got the hero crest, which you do not need. And then we'll start to get to work healing everyone. Um... Right? Yeah. Yeah. Staff, heal up Garcia. Just because you can. Not like anyone can hit Noel from the back line there yet. There are people on their way to be able to do that. And then Ephraim will just await the enemy onslaught. Um, let's get rid of these goddamn Eclipse users, shall we? 
Arter, Staff, Restore, Wake Up, Franz. God bless you, Arter, so much. You beautiful, beautiful man. Alright. Tana can definitely kill one. I'm, I'm fairly certain Franz can kill one. Yeah. Can he... What, what, what weapon ranks does he need? He needs swords and lances. So let's use that steel sword. And hopefully he won't miss. I don't think so. Yeah! Alright, Franz. Got him. And a level up for Franz. Something good for us, babe? Come on! Alright. Faster. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Tana technically can use experience better than Seth right now. Oh. Nice. Good pierce. Good, good pierce. Really, really good pierce there, Tana. You absolutely nailed it. God, look at... <clears throat> look at those stats. Just look at them. Beautiful. And let's destroy the physic user that gets us a physic. Um, you don't need to use the dragon spear for that. Steel sword will suffice. Do dragon effective weapons work on the Draco zombies? Random thought that just came into my head. Alright, now the only one that's left to move is uh, Mulder, who I can sup uh, supply, drop off that silence, take the physic, and then you actually are in range to physic no one. Okay. Well, time to deal with the enemy phase, which isn't going to be too bad. It's just going to be Ephraim and Garcia walling off this army. And I am a little nervous about what the fuck that thief is going to steal from me. Hopefully it's not anything too necessary. Might be, though. Might be. Right, but Ephraim, yeah, he's not afraid of this. I'm thinking in double, though. Yep. 16 speed, not enough to double. Alright. And uh, we'll just sneak in the fast forward button here a little bit. Don't tell anyone I'm playing on an emulator. For all you know, this is an actual copy of Sacred Stones. Oh, a tomahawk. That's actually kind of useful. But he drops it when he dies. Alright. So, that guy with the javelin... Hmm. Okay, let me, just, let me just think rationally here. Okay, so this guy needs to be healed. This guy needs to be healed. And this girl needs to be healed. That's what needs to happen. Alright. So, Noel will heal this girl with his beautiful summoner animation. Mm. Then, uh, Mulder will heal this one. And this should not even heal into full. But this one should heal into full. And Cormag is now good. And then how well can Seth start this epic battle? De decently well. Mr. Zombie Man. Uh, we'll... I'll deal with you in a safer fashion. Alright, Franz. Just stop this tomfoolery from happening. Oh, Franz also needs healing. Mm, fuck. Oh well. Hey, he'll be fine. Okay. Now, that's done. Seth is going to move down here and get ready to fight. Garcia's... Oh, he missed. I also accidentally held the fast forward button again. Oops. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. Please. Oh, well, okay. Alright. After that, enemy phase! Woo! Alright, Ephraim's gonna get a kill. Is it even gonna matter? Because I think, I mean, he's gonna promote after this chapter. Actually, he might get close enough to promote if that mercenary goes after him instead of Garcia. Yeah. Okay, Ephraim will be able to get one more level up, I think. Certainly looking like it. Okay. Now, how's this gonna go? Yeah, fine. Bam. No double, though. Unfortunate. Now, the Great Knight's going to keep strolling about at his leisurely pace. 
The ranger's coming up, but they don't have bows for some goddamn reason. I don't understand. Alright. Oh, no. Please don't tell me. Well, no, I'll, I'll be able to get Garcia out of there. That's... Oh, but the javelin guy that's about to... Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. God. Okay, no, wait. He needs a very strong javelin to kill Garcia. But it is way closer than it ever should be. Oh, he's just gonna... <laughs> like I said... The power of bait from these guys. Alright. Your attack is 22. Ephraim's defense is 13. He also has weapon triangle advantage. Yeah, he, he's fine. Um, In fact... Let's... Let's go to greener pastures. Yeah. Garcia, continue to live on the edge of life. Good job, man. And... Ooh, almost a level up. Almost. Almost there. Uh, real quick. Let's see what's in chest number one. A talisman. Alright. Let me tell you, talisman definitely in the not terrible category. Ephraim can finish this guy off. I'll have to make sure he's healed up, though. But, I digress. Uh, Gilliam! Yeah, this... This is gonna be fine. God damn, the absolute size of that unit. <clears throat> and that guy is dead. And now we will engage in... Well, no, wait, not quite healing time yet. Almost healing time, but not quite. Uh, actually, well, yes, healing time, but for this guy, not for Ephraim. And take, oh, great ball of healing. Wonderful. Then we heal up with Noel. Yep. This should be all Ephraim needs. Doodly doo. Dum doodly doo. Doodly doo. -doo. Mm-hmm. And then... Mulder can... I don't think Gilliam's going to need it, but I'm not going to chance it. That is my current stance on um, healing. <laughs> And then these two Cavaliers should be very easily dealt with with Cormag and, um, I guess Tana. Iron Lance. Fuck him up. Boom. Now that should be enough for a level up for Cormag. God hates me. And then... Oh, wow, exactly enough. Ooh. I need to be able to buy silver weapons soon, but that's not for several chapters. Three, actually. Just three. Well, yeah, three. Three. Counting this chapter as, like, done. Alright. And we'll just leave our, uh, paladinos down around here. Enemy phase. Eh, great knight's coming. Heckin' chonker that he is. Yeah, this... Yeah, I mean, I don't like that he got hit, but... Hey, level up for um, Ephraim. What do you got? <sighs> you had to have one more on the way out, didn't you? Okay. Yep. Gilliam, not afraid of you. Good job. Good job. And then... Yep, more Cavaliers. Yep. Good job blocking the Valkyrie's way to attack anyone, dumbass. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure there shouldn't be any more reinforcements. Yep. All right, Tana, you can move up. All right, I want Ephraim. How about supply, take. Um, a horse slayer, and that should. Yep. Just don't miss. There we go. Woohoo! Alright. That guy is dead. Um, can Noel... No, he cannot. Noel, he can't. <laughs> um, Garcia, just keep that steel sword equipped. And then I guess I'll have Ardor right there ready to... Fuck anyone up. Um, as for this 18 health guy... 
Let's um Let's make sure that Franz is ready for the fight. And he will be. Because Noel actually has a magic stat. Actually, I think he and Mulder are comparable. He's worse than Mulder. Because he got nothing but level ups and speed. Somehow. Alright. Um. Arter. I guess I'll just use Arter to. Yep. Thank God he can hit this one somehow. Well, regardless. Fuck him up, Arter. My boy, my boy. You are dead. Uh, level up for Arter? No, not quite. Um. Gilliam really doesn't need this, but. Fuck it. Give it to him anyway. Because though he doesn't need it, he deserves it. XP go up, and a level up for Gilliam again. Are you, is your speed going to rival your defense now? No? Okay. Gilliam realized what his role in life was. With very good resistance. Like This Gilliam is just all kinds of blessed. A Knight's Crest. Oh yeah, that's right. Ephraim's Route gives you enough Knight's Crest to promote everyone. I think. Yeah, because I got two spare Knight's Crests, and that's enough for, um... Uh, Gilliam and uh, Kyle and Ford, who are both in the back. Yeah, no, I'm scared enough of a 2% crit. A 1% crit, but Seth won't die if he gets crit. So... Hit me with your Divine. Oh, eat shit. All right. And then all that's left is that Cavalier, and then we kind of just end the chapter. Radical. Uh, yep. Franz. Right, well, I'll use Steel Lance to give Franz some weapon XP. So that he can get closer to wielding silver weapons. I don't know how. He's still, at, like, not A's with his weapons yet. Have I just not been attacking with Franz that much? Feels like... Feels like he should definitely be there. Alright. Got him. Woo! No level up for Mulder, unfortunate. What level are you on Oh, well, almost five. Alright. Alright, and then we'll just... And I guess we'll move Cormag up, even though we don't really need to. And who needs to move? No one? Got it. Alright. Bring me your last enemies chapter. Oh, wow, that guy's actually a pretty powerful last enemy. I love the enemy Great Knight color palette. It's just so cool-looking. I love it. And you know what I love more than cool-looking enemies? Good level-ups. You have gotten that level-up three fucking times out of your four level-ups as a hero. Stop. Please. Alright. Can Cormag... No, but he can get... He can get him close enough. Oh, sweet, a level up. A good level up? The speed and defenses. Sure. That's, uh... I'll take that. We take those. Oh, Ephraim can... If he can kill this guy with the Horse Slayer... Um, actually... Hang on, let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garcia weakens this guy down... No, wait, he got a level up of strength. He can't weaken him anymore. And Noel will just outright kill him. But Noel deserves it, so we're giving it to him. Alright, Noel. Show me that cool summoner shit. Oh yeah, baby. God, I love this man so much. Dead. And a level up. Okay, Noel, come on. Give me a good one. Give me some magic, please. Still speed. He has never not leveled speed. What the fuck? Okay, that's fine. And then you will use... Oh no, you'll use your lance. No, your lance. Got him. Stab. And it's gonna get one more stab. And we'll be good to go. Boom. Dead. Perfect. Um... Oh, fuck. I just realized I never addressed the fact that we recruited Murr this chapter. I completely forgot. Oops. Um, that'll be something for the unit review corner. 
but seven more XP. Woo! Um, how easily can Tana just pretty easily? However, the ch the fact that she has a chance of getting hit does not sit well with me. So we're just gonna gonna move them up to be safe. And then Arda's gonna get some staff XP. And ja and Jafar. Why do I keep wanting to call him Jafar? Joshua will open this last chest and get 5,000 gold. Which is very, very helpful. Enemy phase. Where the fuck is... Where are you going, buddy? Well, anyways. Ephraim will now... Trade Tana. The Horse Slayer. And she will come up here and slay some horses. Yes. Yep, there you are, Mr. Zombie Fucker. Oh, God. Okay, well, that was... Good, good fight. Good fight. Mm-hmm. Tana continuing to assert her dominance on the world. Uh, I guess Noel can summon a phantom. Get some XP. The cool thing about phantoms is summoning always gets them 10 XP. So they always, like, they don't have to worry about growing. They're just always growing. Now you're probably going to switch to the Silver Lance, if I had to assume. Or the Spear, sorry. Now I don't have the ability to... Yeah, not as consistently. Alright. I wonder if Ephraim can get the kill on Orson. Well, anyways, Tana! Strength and speed, like... Yeah, Jesus Christ. Are you capped at speed? Or do you cap at 30? No, you cap at 29, actually. I think you have, a, like, a really, really weird cap. I mean, I can try it. And if it doesn't work, Tana's right there, and... Yeah, this would have to... This would have to go astronomically terribly for this little fuck around to not work. He's just like, oh, hello there, Prince Ephraim. And then Ephraim's like, get out. That's my father's throne. You have no right to sit there. Ooh. He almost was able to kill him. Oh, well. No final cheese level up for um, Ephraim. Slim Lance. Take it home, Tana. And he's like, oh, my wife. Is that a level up for you? Almost. All right. And then all that remains is this fuck. Hey, we actually can kill him. We will use a steel weapon to help his weapon ranks, because I believe they give more weapon XP. And we got the tomahawk. Or the tomahawk. Tomahawk? Tomahawk? Let me just ask a Mega Man fan. Alright, there we go. Goodbye, best weapon in Mega Man 6. Um, let's just continue mooching some staff XP from Mulder. And some actual XP from Mulder 2 while we're at it, apparently. And then we end. Player phase. Arter. will mend. Get his last level up of the chapter. How's it looking? And another character whose offenses are both over 20. <clears throat> so beautiful. These two. This is beautiful. Well, we did it. Woo! Yes, I would like to promote Ephraim, who is nearly dead. Oof. But, there he is! He's got the horse, which means he's a good unit now, apparently, because that's how that works. And look at those promotion gains. Look at him. And then Erica can promote as well. With the, uh, I believe she has the lunar brace? Yeah, lunar. She has the moon. Moon! And now she promotes as well. And the funny thing is, her stats are also very good. It's just that Ephraim's been leveling absurd. There we go. Get the Siegmund. Uh, yep. And then for Erica, the Sieglind. And the gross jokes just do not stop. Uh, oh, the Hoplin Guard. I should remember to give that to someone. Oh, if you're wondering why a save data is gone... In trying to go back to get a restore, buy a restore staff from a shop, I accidentally deleted the save data that was going to let me be before I saved into the chapter itself. 
Yeah, I know. I, I know. Don't have to say anything. I know. See you in the Unit Review Corner. We did it. We're on the home stretch. It's 17, 18, 19, and then the final two. Woo! Almost there, baby. Our lone new unit is the Manakeet, Murr, who is pretty good. Um, her main problem is she can only attack 50 times and then she's never allowed to be used again. But during those 50 attacks, she is very good. Very powerful, her Dragonstone is effective against monsters. Like, she'll do great for 50 attacks. You can use a glitch to refill her Dragonstone, but it actually doesn't work with the Hammerine Staff. So you only can refill it with a glitch. And if you're down to use glitches, then Murr's pretty incredible with no downsides, really. It's just the glitch is a little annoying to pull off, and I don't like fucking with it. But I know plenty of people that don't mind that, so use her if you don't. Yeah, that's, that's about it. She's flying, which is also really cool. Yeah, that, that's about it. See you the next time.